Hi. Good morning. It is uh, day one of Vid Summit, and um, well, I wanted to address the uh, elephant in the room, as people in the comments have been calling it, and of course that is um, where is Colette? Uh, Colette moved out about a year ago, and we're still married. Um, we have. You know, therapy and <laughs> we're still working on it. I love her. I always will love her. I love my kids. And... Well, anyways, I'm just sick of feeling like this, and I want to make YouTube videos again. And I don't know if Clit will be in them. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with us, but that's what's going on, okay? So, we're separated, but I'm not giving up. And I'm sorry for uh, the disappointment that I caused for a lot of people. And I just, I have got to forgive myself and... I don't want to say I gotta move on, but I have got to stop feeling like this. I've been miserable for two years. <laughs> and it's because of my own choices. Uh, relationships are not easy, marriage is not easy, uh, especially when you have five million people that have <laughs> been a part of and such an intimate part of your relationship. Um, it just heightens everything when everybody has an opinion everybody has something to say not only everybody in your family and all your friends and everybody that lives in the community that you're a part of but you know all of these people that have come into our lives from YouTube so it's not been easy um, but you can choose happiness uh, Anyways, that's the update. I don't know what else to say. I could say a lot, but I'd appreciate it if uh, that's all I had to say. And and uh, I appreciate all your support and for everybody watching these videos. And your nice comments. The comments have really buoyed me up, made me feel excited and hopeful, optimistic. Some feelings I haven't really had lately. Um, anyways, okay, so that's it. Let's go to the gym. Let's do it. This isn't a YouTube apology video. I just needed to say something. People are going to be like, he doesn't mean it. There were tears. Like, if you had any idea how much I have bawled my eyes out over the last two years. I've never cried so much in my life. Bet I've never even cried that much as a baby. Go. Ripping at the heartstrings. Let's go work out. Let's get the uh, endorphins flowing, the adrenaline up. That's something you can choose. That's what I mean when I say happiness is a choice. I feel like Mr. Rogers now, I'm putting my shoes on. Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you be? Please, won't you be my neighbor? But what I was gonna say is, even in, even when you feel like you can say, oh, I'm gonna open the windows, I'm gonna listen to a good song, I'm gonna make my bed, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna do some things that I choose to do so I don't feel as unhappy. I mean, your unhappiness is just a part of life. That's gonna be there, but there are things you can do to help, so. Let's go exercise, hey? Hey, I say, let's go do it, eh? Won't you be, please, won't you be my neighbor? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just saw my reflection and I thought the door opened and I was like, oh, embarrassing. But it was just me. But I don't care. Let's see. Let's see what these doors are doing. Look, nobody's there. Except for that dude. Hi. That was embarrassing. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Sliding glass door opens right up. We got a women pool right out here. See, maybe I'll go jump in afterwards. First, we've got to get our picks home.
Okay, and just like that. Got a little workout in. Um, I stopped by the front desk and got my Vid Summit badge. Look, it says I'm a speaker. I can do the talking. I can talk the words and words the talk. Got my swag bag. Let's see what's in here. A giraffe? Whoa, they gave me a giraffe. Just kidding. Looks like some socks. Those are cool. Oh, those are Mr. Beast socks, I think. And I think uh, Daryl and Sean are on there too. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a little tripod. Good, because I gave away my other one to Charles Trippy. Daryl, I need another switch mount pod. What's it called? Switch pre look. Yeah. It's a cool little tripod. That's awesome. Yeah, and the future's so bright, you gotta wear shades. This is in case um, the bird poops on your face. You can just squeegee it off. Oh, there we go. Say. Okay, so I came down to the ballroom to check out Casey Neistat's speech talk. He know dance. He's gonna do a dance. Um, obviously, keep this in mind. We all have our own paths and our own goals and initiatives and passions that we're working towards. So Casey's gonna talk to you about what he's done and he's gonna give you tips and tricks and all this stuff. And take what he tells you and apply it to what you're doing. And seriously, I've learned so much from this guy. Uh, I didn't mean to run that. Okay, yo, we are making what connections at Vid Summit. Um, okay, so this guy sat next to me. I was in here um, listening to Casey Neistat. I was nervous. And he sat down and I'm like, I know this guy. How do I know this guy? His face. You know, you have that, but you come to these conferences, so you've met people before. He told me he'd met me five years before, and I'm like, oh yeah, I kind of remember you. But I'm like, no, I don't remember. That was a long time ago. Did you see, could you see when it, when it popped into my mind when I you recognized know, you? I, I thought you were just being friendly. No. And you were, you were. Oh, thank you. But but I, I was wondering, like, is it because he's just being friendly, or is it because he can tell I'm a fanboy, and he's like, come on over here, I can tell you what to sit, I share, you know, sit in my lap. It was know. a little bit like that. But then all of a sudden it clicked, I'm like, wait a minute, I've seen your videos before. Um, I'm a huge fan of him, because Brock and Daxton watch him and his son's uh, channel so, all the time. That, that, like, I, I, I'm like swelling with pride, I'm not a pride kind of guy, but I'm swelling with pride to know that there's someone as awesome as your family, there, you, you really inspired us from the beginning. My inspiration came from seeing this concept of a family who just by being together, and filming and sharing it with other people can make their way in the world. Yeah, and you did it. Yeah, uh, I know him too. Oh, I Don't try to walk by without saying hi. What's up, buddy? You Look, you're in my vlog now too. <laughs> I saw you out of my breath. Yeah, Look at the like, beard. Like, the beard's looking good. Like, yeah. Anyways, I gotta go. I gotta chat with these folks. Went to my good buddy Ralph's. He's got everything in there. Tell you what, I uh, decided to do some grocery shopping here in Los Angeles. Because if I just keep ordering room service, I'm going to rack up quite the hefty bill. And uh, it's easy to do when you're in a nice hotel like this. So I went and grabbed some snacks. Taking a little break from the uh, crowd. There's a lot of people there. It's a really cool event. And um, had some really good talks with some people today. Some that made me cry. Um, yeah, I don't know how much I want to say. But um, we all are struggling with something. Nobody gets away from it. That is part of life. There are hard things that we will all endure and if we haven't or haven't experienced that yet, you will. There'll be some hard things that test us in this life and they're different for everybody, but trust me, when I say everybody has something, there's something that we're all struggling with inside. Uh, we're, we can all be monsters. We can all be bad people. Um, but it's the choices that we make that create our character. And the goal is to make more of the good choices and outnumber them by the bad. We'll make bad ones too, but make a conscious effort to not give up the cliches, I tell you! The secrets to life. Don't get me started. Cliche Carl's coming out. It's true, and sometimes it's hard to find that motivation to be like, yeah, because I've been on the floor and in the dumps and in depression for a long time, and it's hard to hear stuff like that and be like, you just gotta work harder and be happy and choose, I get it. It's like, shut up, you don't wanna hear that stuff when you are really suffering. But there's a realization that happens when you're like, am I gonna let myself continue to feel like this? How long, 
Am I going to allow myself to feel like crap? How long am I going to let myself suffer? And eventually you have to take control and you have to make a conscious choice. Anyways, just getting vloggy. I'm going to end it. I'm going to head back to the hotel and edit today's vlog because I am speaking tomorrow at Vid Summit at 10.45 a.m. And I have still got to plan what I'm going to say. Just kidding. You know I'm a meticulous planner. No, I have, a, I have a very good idea. I'm listening to Casey Neistat and a couple other. Jared Shore spoke today. He used to be the head guy over at Studio C. Uh, a lot of cool people here. So I got, um, I got me a little something in the ticker. Cool. Bye. Love you. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. There's no promises. Don't have any expectations. And you can never be disappointed. I gotta go.